I am utterly disgusted by Trump's decision to ban trans individuals from the US military. History will judge you for this. Now, obviously, they're not my words. And it's not the right accent either. Because as you can see here, this was a tweet from Dan Wooten in 2017. And I've got to tell you, there's quite a few comments that we're going to look at today, which, like, it, it, honestly, it really got me thinking. Like, when it comes to the political commentators that you know, like I always say, it is absolutely worth keeping an eye on them. Because whilst you can see here, since the US election, he's basically been going full force when it comes to Trump. Because you can see here, it says that Trump's re-election has resulted in the most epic MSM meltdown of all time. And he says that people that are against him have utter disdain for democracy when it doesn't produce the result that they want. And he calls them activists. Same again here, he says the American people have decided to return Trump to the White House in the most... I, 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 it's hard not to do the accent. I, I really want to do it. I know I can nail it. 10 out of 10. But I just don't want an audio recording of me doing that like that sort of an accent. You, you, you know what it's like. Oh, it'd just be terrible. But he says that it's the most spectacular... I, I, I wanted to do it then. But he says that it's the most spectacular political comeback of all time. But like I said, that wasn't always the case. Because if we go to this one here, where the original post is unavailable, but he says, you're as bad as Donald Trump. Then he says, delusional. Which considering, like I said, since the election, all of the glory supporters have come out of the woodwork. And it really is weird to see. And you got this one here. He says that he's really glad that Donald Trump is expressing his vision for a divided America here to a terrified world. So he thinks that Donald Trump's vision is a divided America, and he also thinks he's delusional. But not only that, you can see here again from 2016, it says Wisconsin and Iowa have gone to Trump, and he says it's hard to see how Hillary can now become the first female president, and that he's truly devastated for her and the world. Like he's devastated that Hillary Clinton didn't win, not only for her and for being the first female president, but Dan Wooten is devastated for the world. Oh, it's just, it really is awful. These people just flip-flop. I'm sure you saw the Piers Morgan video the other day. That man flip-flops like you wouldn't believe. But I think Dan Wooten's got to be in second place. Here he says that James Comey, I'm, I'm sure you remember this situation, in the final days of the election. He says that he may well have handed Donald Trump the presidency, and it's a disgusting and potential history-changing intervention. So it really seems like he was extraordinarily anti-Trump. But now, wouldn't you believe it, the man is wall-to-wall pro-Trump. So what changed? Well, I think it's one of those things where, like, you really do have glory supporters who will just sit there and basically whatever gets 51% of the majority, that's the side of the fence that they sit on. Because if we go back to this first one here, right, this ideology here, like this logic, this is not something that you can just turn off. And in all capital letters, history will judge it like that. Honestly, that's like an argument text. Like, it's just weird. Like, who actually says these words here? History will judge you for this. It's just so cringe. And like I said, I, I, I don't think this opinion here, I don't think it's just something that you can be absolutely 10 out of 10 on one end. And then a couple of years later, you're 10 out of 10 on the other. I'd, I'd, honestly, like I said at the start, or, to be fair, I think it was more like the middle. Just keep an eye on your favourite political commentators. Because there's certain things that they won't talk about. And there's certain things that they just go wall-to-wall -wall coverage on. And I don't like infighting as well. Like, I remember back in the day, with the Trump and Ron DeSantis thing. That really annoyed me seeing that. Like, it just split the right. There wasn't really anything productive that come from it, other than Trump. And it just seemed like everyone was arguing. So I don't really want to start calling people out. But, I mean, if people are going to act like weirdos, well, I mean, someone's going to have to start calling people out. But let me know what you think as well. <laughs> Do you think that it was a good idea to ban these individuals from the US military? Or like Dan Wooten? Does your opinion like to bend? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure he's all right. And as always... Thank you for becoming one of the 54,313 subscribers.
This country has gone crazy.